We need a poll. How many sh heroes does it take to shut down Sumail in lane? <laughs> We have three right now. Three versus one. And they may get him this time. The shards come through. Samael in trouble. A TP isn't going to be quick enough from Zai. As Liquid get that first blood. And that indeed seems to be the plan. Try and tilt Samael. Try and roll down upon a miracle. Trying to see if he can close the gap. I just go for a bit of a tickle here with the shards. And uh, the GH just right clicking him down from the high ground. The torrent is not going to connect. And in fact, Zai has been spotted out. He's been taken down. Liquid. With the positioning there and the ice shard trap, making sure there's no escape for the Admiral. I, and in fact, they're going to get this one as well by the looks of it with the Storm Hammer and the ice shards. Liquid, they're getting away with murder twice in the middle lane. Zai comes in to try and stop them, but Miracle, he's still full of mana thanks to GH. He can go in for more. Zai trying to body Duke around the tree line. It's not going to be successful. There will be a TP and a frostbite from Crit to hold back Miracle. Has he got the speed to close this down? One more touch will do it. He has the war cry, Zai turns with the target, but he's not soon enough to hold Miracle back. Another kill in the middle lane for Liquid. And they're looking, looking for Crit as well, Kuroki. Has he got the mana? Has he got the control? Crit will go for a bounty rune. Can Liquid finish this kill off? Wards drop down. They have the vision. Crit looking to be in a lot of trouble as well. He'll try and hide himself here in the tree line, but Liquid surround him. Mind control comes across for a piece of the action, and Liquid pick up a fifth kill in the first four and a half minutes. GH and Kuroki doing absolute work here in this early game. Portal 1. I think it might actually have some benefits because he had DD on for almost it's the entire that early it's phase. So it's hard really to tell. hard to Mid lane again, straight in Samael, just can't catch a break here at the moment. The only they're going to be so far ahead potentially with this early game that they're going to be able to climb straight over. Zai is in a lot of trouble. He's got to be careful. Kuroki has that deep ward down. They've got the vision. They know where he is. They come in, trap him in the shards. Miracle being a little hesitant here. R trying to juke out the torrent will be unsuccessful. It connects. It doesn't matter though. He just moves in with the god strength. Takes side down. Critting Universe coming in. EG trying to do their best to turn this, but the snowball's out. They've got the god strength They're continuing to punch into Universe. Universe, can he escape from this? He can't. As GH picks up the killing spree. An eighth kill for Liquid. Make that a ninth. Double kill for Miracle as Liquid are just not holding back in this middle lane. Just brutality after brutality. And in fact, Zai is he even safer. Kuroki and Miracle, they're still ready to fight. The shards won't block Zai. They do push him away. He has a bit of a chance to get away now. And Samael can potentially look to try and turn or at least find a kill for the side of EG. They've got the torrent onto Kuroki. He will get bursted down. So finally, EG getting themselves on the kill board. But still, Liquid, 9-1, to one, 4k gold lead in the first 7 minutes of this game. And in the meanwhile, you have this Necrophos pushing the save point tower. Tower's already down, oh, and they're back. Universe is rather deep here. He's got to be careful. They've got the war cry, trying to change. Oh, and Kuroki with that shard. They're buying the time for them to close in. The Reaper side won't finish off the kill, but they still get it nonetheless after. To contest the farm off Matumba Mat. Very close to that in the neck row. Only a, a few hundred between the two of them. And in fact, straight away... Wisp just hit six. Yeah. So now they can make a move. Uh, we see a smoke game coming up from Matoma and Kuro looking up to set up a kill on the Storm Spear. Storm Spear is level eight, so he can jump away, but with relocating... If they side immediately, there's going to be no chance for the escape. Snowball into the side. They didn't even need the relocate, but they'll bring in to witness the death again of Samael. 35 seconds out of the map. They probably didn't know that Wisp was 6 because they don't have a good Observer Wars up in that ancient area. And he took out a massive stack that GH and Miracle are already back doing right now. They might stack this T1 tower, but they're still getting more than enough farm around the map. So they're just ignoring our TC because Bristle doesn't farm incredibly fast uh, if he's not taking down Ancients. So they're EGR forced to put Bristle back in the lanes because he's the only hero that's not going to die but it's hurting their overall farm a lot. EG will claim tier one tower from the top, an extra bit of boost to RTZ's bank. At the same time, Liquid in return, taking that bottom tower. But to my man, Rod of Atos first item for this Necro, so an extra bit of control that's going to be very, very hard for Samael to play around. Oh yeah, that is actually incredibly bad for the storm yeah because as long as they kill him a few times i think they can kite the bristle indefinitely and they have war cry so you can actually ignore the spent or ignore the bristle for first 
you know, seven, eight seconds of the fight and just kill everyone else. And at this point, with the farm distribution on Niji, it seems like everyone else is going to die aside from the Bristle, and then they can just deal with them, kite him, wait for the stacks to fall off, and then finally take him down. It really seems for, for EG to, to have a chance of winning a fight, it's got to be about the pickoffs. Just in any situation where there's full five heroes on both sides, the mass just doesn't check out for EG. They haven't got the damage or the control to outsustain it. In fact, Kuroki going in with a, a very deep dive. The tunnel will be there to hold him back, but Miracle brought in by GH will find the kill. Vokan to outsustain it. In fact, Kuroki going in with a, a very deep dive. The tunnel will be there to hold him back, but Miracle brought in by GH will find the kill. Low comes through only to connect onto mind control. Miracle, the rest of the construct moves down towards the bottom tier two as they could are able to claim another. In fact, they want to try and defend the top tier two. EG were pushing in, but RTZ left around already too low. Takes a Reaper side for the base. The snowballs there is catch for the freezing field and Liquid just won't give evil geniuses a break. I think Tusk is actually really good versus Bristol. I think the panel talked about Sven and the Necroforce, but the Tusk is pretty good because with the shards, you actually force him to turn back into you. That's true. That's what we just saw there. He shard him at the tower, and what are you going to say in the shards for the entire duration? You have to turn back into the enemy team so that you can run away. In that brief second that he was faced towards the tire base, he gets Reaper in the face. That's painful. Your most farmed hero gets Reaper and just makes quick work of it. What, what an incredible start for Liquid. This is, well, we've got to be one of the biggest leads we've seen this early on in the games here at Epicenter. 14 to 1, 13 minutes in, 9k gold lead. 9k gold lead for 9k players. Absolutely. Liquid showing us how to well and truly deal with the bristle. Just focus on crushing the mid lane in the early game and having this Necro now at this stage where because you have this lead, it's, it's relatively easy to bring Arteezy down to the threshold where he's going to pop under Aretha's side. And he's not that tanky. All he really has is just a bunch of small items. Vanguard being a significant one, but Vanguard, damage block versus God Strength, not really blocking a whole lot there percentage-wise. See what they can find here, Arteezy. Be careful, Liquid, with the full five-man ready to fight. Can EG do something big to turn this die? He's going to be the one to be opened upon. Is he going to get chance to get anything out? He will get out the torrent. Hold back Miracle with Kuroki, but the Uprod of Angels is there, controlling Arteezy. Samel trying to zip in to take down GH, but GH is kept alive. The Snowball comes back in for Kuroki. The Reaper's side's there. Samel's out. Arteezy down as well. EG, they've lost three. They're going to lose even more. Grit tries for the freezing field, but Miracle picks up the triple kill. And Liquid fighting for taking the tier two. Ben, this game may even be over. Yeah, they're trying to push high ground. I like the Wisp and Necro pairing a lot too because Necro actually keeps your Wisp alive. That's one of the worst parts about playing Wisp is everyone focusing you down. As you saw that fight, they try to kill the Wisp, but Necro is really good at protecting his little ball buddy. How do you stop this push? 14 minutes in, losing a tier three. The Lexmark Miracle back, but he doesn't mind. He knows he's got the backup. Easy escape. Now they have the mech complete on mind control. More and more items coming together to, to fuel Liquid's push to the high ground, which at this rate could come again in very shortly. Taking down the shrines. Evil geniuses. What's their plan? They finally get that hood finished up on Arteezy, so at least now he can remain a little alive, but there's so much to go around that. The God Strike from Miracle. Even at this stage, the, the punch from Kuroki. I think like Sven right now is just, he's pretty much like a bristlebag, in that he just does tons of damage and incredibly difficult to kill. And he's he's being more of a bristle boss than bristle boss is. Uh, it, it seems, yeah, you, you may have complained about the bristleback <laughs> pickers, but now it's the, it's the Necro Sven pickers you've got to be worried about. These guys. Coming in with the answers, Kuroki with the strats. And now, again with the smoke. Heading across, Arteezy is trying to get a break here, farming a big ancient stack. But he may just lose his life and not get anything out of this miracle. Straight up to the high ground, the snowball closing in. Crit will try to TP over to the shrine, but Arteezy's already dead. And now Crit, he's in trouble as well. They'll drag him back with the vacuum. A couple of hits, a crit and a punch. And Crit is gone. They'll take the ancients as well. I don't know, man. This game one at the grand finals of Epicenter. 
and it's got to feel pretty good for Liquid and pretty bad for Evil Geniuses. So this fight, they take out the only team fighter that they have immediately at the start. And GH is, he has Warcry to bump him up. He has the Death Pulse to heal him up. And he also has a Surge. I think he gets all three in the Earth. So there's very little way of killing him. There's just, this is just dirty. I mean, it's straight back into the action in the middle lane. Sorry, getting caught out at the base. 16 and a half minutes in, the melee rack's in trouble. EG, have they got any hopes here? Holding with just the four of them. Minimal items that they've been able to build up in comparison to how stacked Liquids are, and the heroes are, and there we have it, the vacuum combo comes through. Universe will try and hold them back, but Crit's already fallen. The Blade Mallet doesn't matter. They just fight through it, take him down as well. RTZ gets smacked in the face by a hefty uppercut from Kuro, and it's game over. It really is. 17 minutes in, 24 to 1. An absolute beatdown for Evil Genius. It's as Liquid smiles on their face, and I absolutely won. Today, what, what a way to start the Grand Final for them. An incredible just follow through of the momentum that they've been building up all this tournament. So let's just take a